Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. This is Alex. And here we are. And what do you think about today? It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you excited for your apple fries? Oh, I'm so excited, finally, after like two times. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you're like, oh, we'll get them in California. Yeah, and then that stand was closed. Of all the stands. <laughs> so yeah, we were back here for the spectacular Christmas thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was only fun, but the... It was fun, but it was just upper lot. Yeah. So we're excited to get on the roller coasters. Hopefully they're open today. It's, as mentioned, it's like 40 degrees ish. California was definitely nicer. Yeah. Not by weather, but by just like the park itself. I'm not too excited to get back here, but it's still gonna be fun. It seems like all the Legolands are just so void of trees at first. Okay. I mean, you look at pictures of Deutschland when it first opened, and it was barren. And then I went like 10, 20 years after it opened, and it was beautiful. All right, let's go inside. Woo! Oh, and we'll have a construction update on the two rides that are opening this year. I believe the swing ship was supposed to open last year, but we'll have an update. All right, well, it's quite assured that we will not get the uh, Dragon's Apprentice, which if you come here, from what I hear, you want to rope drop that if you want the credit, because apparently it has, like, one of the longest waits on, like, the uh, wait times database in the world <laughs> all the time. But at least we get to do it next time, so... Yeah, I mean, we're, kind of, we're planning coming to this place, like, two more times yeah. yeah once in the summer and then once for the halloween thing so but the front it's two and a half hours from us so it's not that bad yeah the dragon is here and then when we have to get a pass in two years because all the parks decide to add a coaster next year <laughs> uh, we will probably just come once <laughs> okay. we finally got on the dragon coaster your second one actually because we did it in california but different model what do you think I love that. I love how it's less than a dog ride. Yeah? Well, coasters need to be like kid coasters, and then you get the coaster at the end. Yeah. It's fun. It's two and one. I was so excited because there was, I thought there'd be a surprise for you right before the lift hill. Because I swear, granted, I only did it once, and it was in the middle of a very long coaster trip in Europe, but I swear the one in Germany had a drop right before the lift hill. It was kind of thrilling and like the dragon was right over you and everything, but it was fun. I was there had trees in the middle. Yeah, I swear Germany also has trees in the middle and they've grown in in the last 20 years and this will obviously never will. So it's just gonna be an ugly, ugly gravel lot yeah. where they could do like, they could put some small they bits could. of theming in here. It's so lazy. There's like a little bit of theming there. Nobody sees that over. It's, it's really cute inside and everything, but like you could just put some turrets or something in the middle of the ride and it will look absolutely fantastic. You wouldn't have to do much. It's, it's a shame that they don't, they just plop it down without anything in the middle. But fun regardless. All right, you ready to get some exercise in? I can't do these. Well, actually, uh, actually we can go together. I, most of the time you can't. Really? Yeah, but I see some. Uh, I, yeah, that one has two together, so. I love these though. Uh, I don't know. The last time I did it, I, I jumped on one in, in Denmark and there was no operator. You just literally just hopped on, uh, lowered the restraint and went to town. <laughs> yeah, you could, yeah, it was slowly turning and you could go as long as you wanted to. I don't think it would ever have kicked you off. Probably when the park's busier, they might have attended to do that. But that was, uh, the Jorge Summerland. That was a great place. Raining like nothing else, but everything was open. Yay, me <laughs> All right, here is the brand new ride. It was supposed to open last year, the Ocean Explorer. It's a swinging chip ride, pretty standard. But this area looks fun. It looks real fun with this like little mini land here inside of Lego City. I like the boat theming, how it's kind of like a cargo ship. Hopefully there are no bridges nearby. <laughs> have we done all of the Lego castle so far? Mm -hmm. We got up the, the climbing tower five, five times? Yeah, five. We could probably do one more. That's so about it. We figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand, well, you didn't realize that you were kept on like, holding it when we got to the top two times. Not too, but you also kept getting in the way of my hand. Yeah, yeah. We figured out that we like we change here. Here, yeah. demonstrate. Yeah, like that, that, that. Yeah, yeah demonstrate. Yeah. Had a small hand, but we both had bigger hands. That like. Yeah, that was fun. I like that we could do that together. I feel like I've been on those before, where they're like, no, you got to yeah. go separately. Or I've wanted to, but... And I couldn't get up. You so could have done this one by yourself, though. It seems like it really yeah, assists it you a easy. lot on Why this I one. Do. And this thing looks great. I don't know what took them a year to build it. Yeah, I was shocked to see the Skyride pretty much completely in place just three months later. Yeah. Yeah. Concerning how long this took to build, I was like, oh, yeah, that Skyride's going to be open 
sometime next year. But my uh, theory on the Skyride thing is that it's, you know, being done by all these uh, chairlift companies that, you know, they have a lot of work in the summer, not so much work during the winter when all the ski slopes are open. Yeah, so. it's the opposite. Right. So, like, these ones are like, yeah, we got time. Let's, let's get this thing installed and ready. Yeah, the ride system looks pretty much done. It looks like they're just working on the stations and stuff. That was fun. I think it's a Zamperla. Feels like it. But definitely a thing I've never seen before. So I, I like the fact that they have a pirate's area, but they decided to go unique on the pirate ship type ride. So this park has so much potential. I think we're going to see this park expand very quickly in comparison to other Lego lands. Because it definitely started without a lot of stuff. That's why we kind of decided not to really come for the first few years. Because I'm like, eh, we're going to add some things really quickly. Yeah, I'm excited to see it like in 20 years from now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I personally think if, if any of the U.S. parks go for real, I think it'll be this one. Yeah. Because no. it, it's more of a day park, I feel like. Whereas, I don't know. That's what it is right now, but if they keep making it bigger. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Can you help a little bit more this time? We failed miserably in California. I can't remember if they have one in Florida. Oh, look at the effects. That's pretty cool. You're actually shooting like a uh, monitor that you can't see very well. I think once the monitor goes black, you get back in. It's crazy to me that you, like, it's a ride you literally get out of the ride. And then other cars can keep go and everything. Didn't, in California, didn't they wait for everyone to come back before they started moving yeah. again? Yeah. All right, you finally got your apple fries. You got caramel. I'm excited. Caramel? I'm excited. Did you just spill all that? Or is that poop? You just spilled yeah, all that, didn't you? I, like, closed by accident. Uh, and you just out. squished it this out? It's not a good design. No, it's a good design. Just stop licking things. How you? What do you think? They're good. I don't need them again. I already saw the ice cream, but I want to eat these at home. Like, I want to make them at home. Oh, you need to lick your lip. There you go. You still... No, you still... There's, yeah. I didn't learn about them. Okay, I messed you, you got this the... the you got the whipped cream do. everywhere but inside your mouth. The floor, your fingers. I don't like the design of it. I think it's fine. They're good. I don't know if they're $10 is good. And the caramel was not worth it whatsoever. It just says it, it's the, it's already flavorful enough that it doesn't need. So cute, these little guys. My nephew gets to do it in California before they close. Nephews. Because they're closing to build a roller coaster next year. I'm um, supposedly a roller coaster might be coming here next year. That's what we were told. I don't know if it's true. But the guy did know about the Skyway before it was actually announced, so. Oh, it's kind of dollars a bit past. Yeah, but the caramel wasn't worth it. Oh. What'd you give it? Seven. Nine. Really? Yeah, I love them. Not much. I thought you said they won. Uh. No, I thought they were great. I think they're too expensive, but I think they're yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. If you add the value factor in, probably more like a seven. I want to eat these at home. I'm making these at home. It's probably not that hard. Oh my God, first was the the Coast Guard Academy. Oh my God. You see why I was like, we should roped off this. Yo, look at the line already. Granted, they're putting a lot more on. There was like three boats on when we got on, but now they're putting on like twice as many. See, they have trees here. Yeah. I, I, there is enough trees that once they grow in, it'll be okay, but right now it's just so barren. And I would love to see a roller coaster just go up and down around the side of the hill. So we kind of like what Universal's doing. That'd be so cool. I bet there's more Lego trees. And Manila and then they're all on this part. These are... I'm, I'm so glad we got in front of them. They were the people that we skipped in line. Yeah. Well, I leave them. They won't go. Yeah. I don't like the metal walkways that are kind of not... They don't look... They kind of look temporary. Yeah. I think they had to put them on there just to have better access to the island. But I don't know. I think it just looks kind of barren because all the vegetation is uh, dead. But yeah, so the Skipper Schools, as this one's called the Coast Guard Academy, usually called Skipper School. I like these always. Do you like it more in California? No. No? Yeah. So it lets you actually drive there. Yes. <laughs> I was not sure. But... No. There is one turn, it was a complete 90 degree turn right away. There is no way. You're not bumping into that guardrail. I don't. You'd have to be like a complete expert to drive through that one and not bump something. They really do need more rides here. Like, 
There's not that much more to do. No. Yeah, I mean, with the splash pedal and the other thing closed, that's obviously limiting how much you can do, but... But kids like doing the same things over and over again. Yeah, you know. Kids are different these days, though. It depends on the kid. Older kids, but like young kids don't care. Yeah, yeah. But can you imagine without the rides they've already added to how empty this place would feel? Alright, I'll do Anchors Away. It's a uh, rocket tub. That's why I don't have a pirate ship. Duh. I guess this is turning into a food blog, courtesy of you. You got the meaty empanadas. No, I got the cheese and guacamole empanadas. Oh, you got those? Oh, nice. I got the escape, the corn with... Street corn in a bowl, basically. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and we've had it in Mexico. So... Turn, apparently this turned yeah, it's a Dixie <laughs> okay cup. but here's the thing the price the apple pie is a little price of a fish it was like 8 bucks this was like 6 I don't I spent 13 total with their pass yeah it's not so, bad no and yeah. it's like interesting food it's, it's like not, $18 for a slice of food at great, or slice yeah. of pizza at Great Adventure Great Adventure's prices are ridiculous and it's not blowing pizza or fries or something it's something interesting that's why I have empanadas at Great Adventure empanada guy that's a food truck that's and that's not with the meal plan. Like, I... It is now. Oh. Yeah. I think they moved it to Macho, Nacho Machos, because remember was, Anyways, that's Great Adventure. Go check out Great Adventure updates. We don't need to tell you about them here. Uh, enjoying your day? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's see how you like Figured. this one. What is it exactly? Just corn and lots of, like, lime and spices and stuff like that? Yeah. Absolutely. Would I like it? Yeah. Okay. You'll get a lot of though. This is a vegan option, but it's more of... Uh, a dessert option, in my opinion, with the cheese and the guava. What kind of cheese? Ricotta? Queso. Queso. Uh, these aren't great. They, they're very cavernous inside. I, I think the meat ones would probably be a little bit more full. This one got a better. Am I just putting yours? Oh, yeah. Yours isn't um, as cavernous. Well, maybe it's the way I'm holding it. Regardless, it's not. there's not a lot in there. Yeah, that'll definitely be better. That'll give it a solid eight. This might give it like a four. I, I think it's terrible. Yeah, I had a guava. I had a guava and cream uh, pie at McDonald's in California, and that was really, really, really good. Compared to, I mean, it's a, it's yeah. kind of the same concept. It's, I mean, yeah. a, a McDonald's pie is kind of like empanada. It's a, yeah, yeah, because it's a fried. It's not a pie. I'm they call it a pie, is. but it's yeah. not a pie. I'm so excited to do this splash battle with you. Every time we come to a splash battle, it's somewhere where. It's hot enough, but it's somewhere where we just don't want to get wet because, you know, we're on a road trip or something like that. The only one we've done together is the one in Guatemala, of all places. Uh, Zutle. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that these things are just propelled by little little propellers in the water. Well, it's too hot and we don't want to wait in line. They usually, too cold. They usually don't have a long line regardless because, like, people want to get wet, but these just get you absolutely soaked no matter yeah. what you do. Interesting that the the guns are away. Usually they don't put those away for uh, um, what should we call it? Winter. So hopefully those come back because that would be not That's fun. Yeah. This one looks okay. Way better than Lost Island. Mmm. I love the smell of uh, metal shavings in the morning. Don't you? Yeah. You can smell the metal being cut. Ah, the, uh, the afternoon. Yeah, you can smell the metal being cut from all the way over there. It's your favorite, like, kind of ride, right? Yeah, that's not like a real thrill ride, but like, kind of a ride. Yeah. It sucks that California took those out. I know. But this one opened. Right? But this one opened, so I guess it's a net zero. Did it have Ventilator? No, it's still there. They just rethemed it. They got rid of the crocodiles and made the little jet skis oh. that are similar to these. Really hard. Turn the wheel. Whip it good. I like this move on the flyers. Which flyers? Not flyer? at Knobles. Well, to Knobles right now don't matter because oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're not I letting know, you do anything. Like flyers. Flyer? I want to take your NFP on this. Which one? Maybe. Either one. Because they can ride like right with you. Yeah. yeah. That was a short cycle. That wasn't even a minute long. So it's nice to see the water in all the uh, different ponds now. Hopefully uh, some of the stuff is working. Yeah, I didn't even realize that was going to have water there. And you got some guys rafting up there. That's fun. Oh, that'll look good. No, 
yeah, it's through the Grand Canyon. It's the Colorado River. We have to go there sometime together. Apparently, the the rover guys just landed on the Grand Canyon. There's the constant. This is an insane staircase. It just looks like it's like falling off the side of a cliff. It's like the what's that? What do they call it? The pool that like goes. Up. Infinity. All right, I think our day has gone a lot better. We did the Lego factory ride again. That ride is so good. Like, it is extremely good. And you were convinced I had the name wrong. You were right. It's Lego factory adventure. I thought it was something else. I thought it was a factory tour. It is. It's, it has more four names. I feel like they changed it's the Lego name. Lego factory adventure tour. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it's actually Professor Brick's factory kids are, adventure tour. Can I say something? The kids are driving better than adults on the actual road right now. <laughs> We're actually driving on the right side of the road and everything. This is amazing. Look at this. They're not New York drivers. Yeah, but they are though. Yeah, yeah I don't know if your nephews would be able, your, your old enough would be able to handle this. So that kid was like, I'm not, no, I'm going. He saw the kindergarten. He could oh, you see there are even the red and green lights. Uh oh. Oh, oh, the, the ride ended. Yeah. That was back in November. This, they changed a lot. Yeah, and I don't think they necessarily care. Like, if he looks like a six year old already, so yeah, we should tell your sister you could get away with it if he wants to do it. I think they'll let the bigger ones on the small one, but they won't let the little one on the bigger ones. Uh, I don't think they care either way. If you're like right at that, stuff. yeah, if you're right at that age, especially if you have a brother or sister, maybe. Yeah. The younger nephew definitely could not go on the bigger one, though, yeah. right now. Yeah, that's a little much. Anyways, I just love watching those kids. Usually they're all crashing, but they're doing really well. It's it's really surprising. And then we did Ninjago again. That ride's just garbage. I'm they sorry. Should, I have an idea. They should make an adult one of those, like on the hill. Oh. I like have like a so, so like a rally? No, like a rally course. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Rally, rally. Woo! Apparently we're in Miniland already. Yeah, I think this was all added. This Papu was added later on. Yeah, and like they had that whole area right there that was added, I think. I feel like they are they built this whole up area because they know they're going to add some more stuff to it. Because why would you put a restroom block right there? That makes no sense to me. There's another one right down the hill. Like, it's not that far to the next one. Looks like they have some kind of entertainment there. Look how sad that looks. Just two, two uh, bleachers. Yeah, rideability was pretty good. When we first got here, we were like, oh man, Coast Guard's closed. The, the water whip is closed. But yeah, the only thing that's really closed is the splash pedal, which I mean, that doesn't need to be open. And that's it, right? And the dragon. Yeah, the dragon apprentice, which I don't understand why they couldn't get this up. It's been closed since uh, late, uh, since November. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll be back. We're not that upset. But if we, this was also the one time we finally decided to do this place, I would be pissed. So. Yeah. Hey, and it's got better theming on the course than the actual one does. This is what yeah. the actual one should have had. It should have had more of these turrets type things in the middle. We wouldn't have come on with the daily today if it was the one time. Unless we had no choice. Uh, no, because I would want to go when it's not that busy. I guess. Yeah, anyways, I think that's about it. We're just gonna do the dragon a few more times. We don't need to, but we might as well when the line is short. The first drop was fun. I look how it twists left, right. So. And I might buy a t-shirt. You might buy a t-shirt. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and of course we'll be back for a tour sometime later this year. Bye.